shocks are to flex your truck. Let's see if this thing is going to be able to go through with no problem. These were spread apart 12 inch. So it should be a little bit easier for this guy to actually go through everything. And not even an issue going through this. Okay, this is called the frame twister. And uh, this pump right here in the middle, that's the one that's the killer. Okay, let's see if this, the gladiator, can actually do it. Back wheels off. I don't think I'm right on there. Yeah. This is nuts. Now I gotta make sure I don't fall off my back wheel. So I gotta keep going. I like the side uh, of these tires, They're, they do not collapse, so that's pretty good. If I can just land my rear tire on there, I'll be good. And it's coming down, and yes, I did land it. Now this is the part that's really tricky, because you end up having only two wheels touching oh she wants to slide at the back but I'm stopping see I shouldn't have stopped I should have kept going I was trying to show something but if I would have kept going it probably would have made it but I let it slip at the back talk too much This hill has a little challenge. There's a bunch of roots here. It's been dug out by a lot of people trying to uh, pass it. But this is the chicken way out on there. But this is the bonus. So you have to pass that without hitting the flag. So let's see if this guy can do it with its portal axle and these tires. We'll go high and see what we can do. I'm trying to get a grip, but this tire is really in the groove right now. I don't think he's going to be able to make it. So we'll try again, but going down off the side here a little bit, so it gives me more grip. Come on. I got to make sure I don't hit the, uh, the flag. This tire is completely in there. The pass as front, uh, the pa the front as passed. Now let's see if I can't bring that wheel up. It does want to grip, which is good. Oh, I think I just hit the flag just a little bit. The cab hit it just a little bit, so that would be a miss. This is a V-shaped rock that I've done. It's about uh, two, two and a half feet long. And you basically have to uh, put your truck right in the middle and climb it. 
So let's see if this guy's going to do it. first truck I use that I basically have no problem doing this. is trickier than people think. But with this long wheelbase, it should be not bad. This thing is just eating them up. I'm getting at my 54 degree hill right there and let's see if uh, the gladiator will climb the hill. not trying to flip. Seems to be very well balanced. On second gear I should be able to pass it, but there's no second gear yet. I just need more wheel speed. But what's really nice with it, it does not want to flip. It doesn't want to seem to flip. It seems to be well balanced. I'm just losing traction, that's all. It was my fault, I reverse and hit the gas. No go on this one. So this is the new concrete hill I made at the uh, at TTC at the Sims. It does have a V-groove hill at the bottom, but what's challenging with this is it's actually turning. So as you're coming up, you've got a little speed bump here, but as you're coming up here, you have to turn. And then you end up where it's actually steep over here. And let's measure what we got for a hill here. This turn has, let's see how many angle. So it's a 34 degree angle at the start, but that's while you turn. And as you start getting up on the bottom of the hill, you have 38, then it goes to 50. Then it goes to 51. So it's pretty much, oh, 55 degree here. All right.
Okay, this part is the construction pipes. Let's see what this thing was could do. It was actually built to be challenging on a 12 inch wheelbase, but this one should have no problems doing it. My tires are a little bit wet. This is my uh, 33 degree turn up in the air and then down a cantilever. So let's see what this thing can do. We'll go as far side as I can and then we'll start turning. And as you can tell, there's no problem with this. So I gotta back up a little bit. So actually no issues with this, tires, very strong, uh, very grippy for this challenge anyways. This is called Sandy Hill. On video it doesn't seem much but uh, it is pretty steep and very sandy. Mind you, through all the years that we've been here, it is starting to dig up and we're starting to see some roots. So if you can't make it up that hill, there's always Widowmaker over there, or you can always take the Chicken Out Trail. Now, let's see if I have the wheel speed or the grip to actually do this one. Sandy Hill, no problem. Now let's try the Widowmaker. We are sorry, but some cars just didn't make it. It's not true. We just put those names there just for the hell of it. Okay, a lot of holes here again that were dug up by some 2.2 tires. Let's see what we can, what we can do here. Why they call it the Widowmaker. Okay, now that I've played it in the sand, but driving here, the tires did get cleaned up a little bit. I was doing some trail riding, but the rear ones have a lot of sand on it. So let's see how this reacts on the plywood. And we'll go right now on slow speed. And just because everything is so sandy, it's doing a very good job. I passed the midway point and it's already starting to... I was letting it go. There we go. And that's the 34 degree tittle totter. Okay, this is called the wire bridge. The reason it's called the wire bridge, because the only way you can get across is by going on these two very small wires. So let's bring the truck in. I did put these locks at the back just to screw with people to make sure that they uh, have trouble lining up. I'm not sure of the wheelbase of this thing. Oh yeah, should be no problem. 
If you don't got good throttle trigger, which means very slow, you might get in trouble here. Once you're on the wire, it's pretty easy because the only thing you have to do is just keep going straight. Keep watching your front wheels and make sure you don't turn them and keep them centered. The wire bridge is no problem for the gladiator. Dig on that one. This is what happened when you just had too much to drink. I like to call this right the fence. guys I'm cleaning up the tires trying to running it on grass thanks for watching this truck is just amazing it went through a lot of the challenge with no problems at all I love it I give this truck a big two thumbs up and 10 out of 10 it's great guys have fun comment subscribe and don't forget keep those batteries charged and go have fun and break something because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. <laughs>